Okay, uh, hello everyone. Okay, today we will uh, cover all politics of Cambodia. Part 3, finish for uh, our today. 1, 2, 3. Before we start, I would like to review some of Unit 1. Uh, politics 1, like we study in here, it have an uh, executive brand. You can say, the uh, tech property part, right? That's mean uh, the practitioner, just like the government, right? Practice the law. And the second, we have a legislative brand, that's mean the uh, You can say lawmaker, make the law, right? They are uh, passed the law by National Assembly, Ross of and Khmer, and also uh, Senate Prince of right? They have passed the law and give it to the executive brand to practice the law. Okay, and you need to, you see in the text, uh, we start here about Senate, that's mean the upper house for the uh, mean uh, for the old person they yeah, stay in there and it have uh, 62 member and it vote for uh, six year per cap and also national assembly it is that we can say lower house for us appear right have uh, 123 member and it uh, vote every five years and the last one is judicial brand it have uh, in the book it doesn't help but in Cambodia now it have three it have a provincial and municipal court and the second is a, uh, what is it? I forget. Uh, it's a, a military court and appeal court right in here. It has three. So uh, today we will study about unit three. We will cover on uh, monarchy. So what is monarchy? And uh, success to the throne. Who can to become the next king in here? And also the last one is provincial and local government in here. Right? Okay, so before we start, let's see the vocabulary first. Of the study in here. And uh, the first one is a uh, rain, right? Not rain in rain, it's only one sound. It is uh, the period of rule of a monarch. Monarch here, the king, right? The rule of the king. We can say rule, control, monarchy, or leadership. Rain here, right? Which means the rule of the king that yeah, he stay in their office. And another one is eternity. Now that's mean uh, indefinite or unending time. That's mean unlimited, right? Forever. We can say uh, timelessness or without end. Right? Something that is continuously. And another word is define. Verb that means state or describe exactly the nature. Scope or meaning of define right give the meaning of they can say uh, ex explain or clarify see this is uh, defined and reverse uh, feel deeply respect or admiration for something that means you deeply respect for someone right or something we can say uh, venerate also uh, respect worship esteem right that's synonym of that and proclamation yeah. well, five. Uh, a public or official announcement dealing with a matter of great importance that means uh, we announce publicly in here proclamation we can say announce declare or publish as uh, so they are similarly and another one is prevalent uh, widespread in particular area or at particular times it means uh, widespread all the place. We can say uh, dominant, right? Predominant or prevail. That's in the name. And irritated. Make someone annoy or a little angry. Just make someone angry, right? You can say irritated. We can say annoyed, bother, or vex. B E A. That's in the name. And also, uh, his tone irritated her, right? His tone make her angry. Sometimes it's told it's not normally. They just speak with their anger voice. An abdicate of a monarch renowned one throne. That's mean abandon one throne, right? When we have a king and then abandon it. Fill up. Yes. Then we can say abdicate. We can say uh, renounce, give up, resign, or disclaim. In 1980, Kaiser Wilhelm abdicate us as German emperor. So he advocate, he give up the throne. And another one is a fraction noun, 
dissension with him and organization. That means uh, make something in fact. We can say uh, split of class. And meditate now, that means uh, intervene in the deep shoot in order to bring about an agreement or reconciliation. Let's make something we call to make it easy. We can say meditate. We can say uh, reconciliate or intervene. Okay, so that's all for our vocabulary. So let the uh, summary for our political three before we go to the type and we can understand it very deeply. Okay, so uh, the first one. Uh, I said, what is monarchy? You can see in the book, in the uh, monarchy point. Okay, monarchy does mean the king, right? The, the country that has the king. So a candidate is constitutional monarchy, right? You have monarchy by constitutional. And the king ran, but does not rule. That means the king ran, only ran, but not rule the country. The king is the head of the state. See, it's not really anything but just reign, just be a king. And it is the symbol of unity and eternity of the nation. Uh, from September 24, 1993, through October 7, 2004, Norodom Sihanouk ran as a king, right, 2004. In February 2004, he issued a proclamation stating that Sin Kamenev is liberal democracy. Okay, and in 2004, he was succeeded by his son, Norodom Sihamani, which is the current king of Cambodia until now. Day, right? So it's nearly uh, 2004 until now, it's nearly 20 years for Norodom Sihamani to be the king. And success to the throne, who is a successor, become the next king, is that uh, the king can give uh, the throne to his next generation by choosing his word. In Cambodia, it's different from another country. Okay, unlike other, Cambodia, this monarchy is necessary, hereditary, and the king is not allowed to select his own hire. That means he cannot select his own hire, his own success, right? By the king. For example, King Siamani now, he wants to make another king to be a successor, he cannot. In Cambodian constitution, it's different from another. And a new king is chosen by Royal Council of Throne. See, Royal Council of Throne. They are choosing the king, not the king by himself. Okay, so uh, the Royal Council of Throne was established by Constitution on 24 September 1993. It's uh, built up in 1993. There are nine members of the Council, Council of the Throne. So who they are? They have to select the king to be the new king, right? Okay, so the first one is Prime Minister of Cambodia. The second is President of the National Assembly. Third, President of the Senate, for first Vice President of the National Assembly, uh, fifth, second Vice President of the National Assembly, uh, sixth, first Vice President of the Senate, see all the Senate, uh, second Vice President of the Senate, eight, Supreme Patriarch of the Mohanikai Order, and nine, Supreme Patriarch of the Thomas Nikai Order. So it's all the leader in Cambodia, right? Just like the Senate the Vice Senate, the National Assembly, the Vice Assembly, and also the uh, Patriot, the leader of the mind. Okay, provincial and municipal administration of this person in create of nation budget. They issue land title and license business. Okay, the last one is, uh, we study power today, is uh, provincial and local government. Below the central government, there are 25 provincial and municipal administration. I right? have 25 of them. And the administrative are part of Ministry of Interior, and their members are appointed by the central government. So everything is uh, appointed by the central government. Okay, so that's it for today, and we will continue to uh, our lesson. Okay, thank you.